I apologize, uh, Christian Prince. Can you show me the verse before you yeah, this one? Okay, this is the one. Ah, this the about, you the, about about uh, the uh, Allah will not uh, uh, allow Shaitan. No, no, the same verse that you are in right now. Uh huh. All right. I thought you want this one, where Allah He said. You have no authority, shaitan, over my servants except the ones who follow you, the criminals. All right. And you can read the interpretation. And we did not send before you any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke, Satan threw into it. Oh, yeah. The interpretation says you uh, recited is some misunderstanding, but Allah abolishes that which Satan throws in, and Allah makes. Then Allah makes precise his verses, and Allah is knowing the noise. Okay. Hmm. What? Okay. Are you okay, still? So what's what, what's wrong? I mean, what do you mean? What do you mean what's wrong? Shaitan, you say that Allah hmm. protect Muhammad, and now we find that Muhammad received satanic verses, and Muhammad himself did not even notice that Shaitan he gave him Quran, and he think. That this is okay. It's from Allah. You Muslim, you say that the Quran said nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. How then Shaitan was able to make Quran, and Muhammad did not even notice that this is not the Quran of Allah. Well, Satan throws into it some misunderstanding, but Allah abolishes what Satan throws matter, in, right? What misunderstanding, my friend? This is shaita satanic verses. What misunderstanding? This is the false translation. What misunderstanding? Where? What is the word misunderstanding in the, in the verse? It says Allah, he throw when he recite. You see, spoke or recite. When he spoke or recite, shaitan, he put words on his mouth. So how does Allah abolish what Satan throws in? Exactly. He did not. Because already he Muhammad, he spoke it. The Muslim, they took it. And you Muslim, you keep saying that Allah preserved the Quran in our heart. So now, you Muslim, you recite the satanic verses. So, man, the same verse, you just took a portion of it, but you ignore the rest? What, what is that? Is that what you're doing? What is? Do you want my advice? Yeah. Don't ask for the rest because the rest will destroy you and will make my bewitching so strong. So, do you want the rest? Are you sure? Do yeah, you, man. Do you want the rest? Okay, here we go. The rest here it says in verse number fifty-three. It says that what Shaitan he throw, it will be trial for the Muslims. So how Allah abolish it and is going to stay in the Quran to be a trial? Because those who follow the Quran is Muslims. We don't. Now there is horrible. something. The, uh, reciting these three verses remember me, reminded me of another verse, actually. Uh -huh. Which says... Um, wait, wait, wait. Give me a moment. It says... Through the... I, I, I don't remember the, the verse exactly, but it states... It's talk, it talks about how a single verse... Uh -huh. uh, um, it, the single verse... Some people who read that verse get uh, get guidance from it, but another people who read the same verse, uh, my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, more my friend. in the Quran. Okay, hold on. Do you see how stupid what you just said? I'm not insulting you, by the way. I'm insulting the stupidity because you just said, "No, that Allah He made Quran." Hold on. Nah. You just said, "You just said Allah will misguide okay. the Muslims by the same book." You said that. Yeah. Guys, did he say, he agree, Allah will misguide the Muslims by the same book, so Allah will give them Quran, the same verse, one Muslim will be guided, and the other Muslim will be misleaded. Why? Why Allah will mislead the did Muslims? I mention, did, I, did I mention a Muslim when I was saying, I was saying anybody who, we, we don't read the Quran, I just say, we don't care for the Quran, who read the Quran. The Quran. you can mislead me by the Quran if I don't follow the Quran? It, Look, listen, listen. Anybody can read. Going, anybody can read the Quran. No, 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 no. Anybody no, can read the Quran. No, 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 no. The Quran says لا يمسه إلا المطهرون. Nobody can touch it. It's except the Muslims. So don't tell me that. Same time, in order to be misguided by a book, you have to believe in it. So 
Or the for instance, if, man, no, if I go, uh, in, the, if I go in the highway, you are reciting the Quran right to, now. To misguide me, you are reciting the Quran right now. To misguide me, to misguide me, I have to believe in the map you gave me. So I will take the wrong exit, the wrong highway. Otherwise, if I don't believe in your map, I will not drive and follow your map. I will follow my own map. So now, Allah in the same book, and everybody heard you. And hold on. Did your prophecy say Allah will misguide the Muslims by his book? Come again. Come again. Did Allah, did Muhammad say it? Allah will misguide the Muslim by his own book? I don't think he said that. What if this he is true? Did anywhere. What if this is true? Allah will do what? Allah, the Muslims, the Muslims, all the Muslims, will be misguided uh -huh. by the book of Allah. Okay, show me the verse, man. If I show you what you would do. I will make a follow-up in the research. You do search. What, ah. what do you want me to do, man? All right, what do you want to do? Uh-huh. Okay, well, here we go. Let me show you. You see my screen, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Gabriel, he came to your prophet. Do you see the screen? What, what says, are you reading right now? Atani Jibreel, the hadith. Atani Jibreel, alayhi salam, faqal, inna ummataka muftatana. Huh? You can read. So, Jibreel, he came to me. I will translate to the people. You can read in Arabic. That your nation will be misled, misled right after you die. Misled said, or tempted. Muftatana. Muftatana will be misled, my friend. Fitna is, is, is misguidance. What is fitna in English? Misguidance. Is it not tempt? No. 100% sure? Al-fitan is when people, they are misguided. Yes. This is, the, this is mentioned even what the Quran would do to you in the Quran. Are you sure you are a Muslim? I mean, who is, I the, who is the one who knows Islam here? It looks like you don't know Islam. And the Christian prince is the one teaching Muslims about every religion. So now, listen. So, so now, I so just now, Googled so the word Jibreel. Fitna. So, so now, Jibreel. Yeah, Christian prince, uh, 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 a moment. I oh. just Googled the meaning of the word fitna. It says it's a trial or testing or temptation. This is a Google translation? From Oxford, Mr. Oxford, you are. Uh, uh, I mean, you take your Arabic meaning from Oxford. Man, that's how even I knew it in Arabic. Actually, uh, this just confirms it. Uh, you know, first of all, uh, just to show you that you Muslims are ignorant, literally. Let us go. I don't know what to do with Muslims. Seriously, I'm really disappointed. I cannot find one Muslim. You have a brain. It's impossible. It's a mission impossible. Let me show you. First is there is a verse. Hold on. Is, is fitna? Is fitna? Is less harm than killing, or more harm? Come again. Is causing fitna is more harm than killing somebody, or less? Mm, I don't know there is a verse that about that. Uh -huh. So now the Quran says, "Wal fitna tu akbar wa in Allah, wal fitna akbaru min al qatl." So fitna is way more. Wal fitna akbar min al qatl. Listen, yeah. So fitna, fitna is more harmful in Islam than killing. So what is fitna? Causing temptations among people. I don't know. What? Okay. So you think. Okay, when you say temptation, I, I guys, I said misguidance, misled. Now he said temptation. Are you, are, are you silly or what? You tempt people to do bad. You use the word temptation in order to do bad. So this is misguidance. <laughs> so you, your religion, your. So listen, listen, listen. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. 
When a person tempts you, there are two options. You can be misguided or you can be guarded, man. No, 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 hold on. No, 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 no. You see, he did not say maybe. He said your nation will be. Read it. Inna ummataka muftatana. This is why Muhammad is so sad. Muhammad, he came and he was so sad. Read with me. The, the, we, uh -huh. we were with the Prophet and we saw in his face how sad he is. Does it correct? It says that, right? And he was saying, Inna lillahi uh -huh. wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. We seek refuge by Allah. Uh -huh. We seek refuge by Allah. Oh, they were, they were, they were tempted. No, 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 hold on. Yeah. This is before even the hero story. Don't be stupid. And then he said, the man, he said to Muhammad, what's wrong? Oh, your message of Allah. What, what our God said, he says, Gabriel, he came to me and he said, your nation will be misguided right after you die, not long after you die. And then I said to him, oh, prophet of Allah, and from where the misguidance will come, he says, uh, and, and you left with them the book of Allah. How they can be misguided? And now here you will see how I got you busted. It says, okay. Translate to everybody and laugh at yourself and apologize. Uh, translate and apologize from Christian Prince. So, from the book of Allah. Not, not from the book of Allah, don't lie. By the book of Allah. Or by the book of Allah. I uh, sorry, I didn't say at first, but my, my, I know how to read, but uh -huh. my Arabic is not that uh -huh. good. Okay, so by uh -huh. the book of Allah, uh -huh. they will uh -huh. be misguided. Is that is that it? It is. So when I say misguided, why you said to me no? Fitna does not mean misguided. So you see this, the dalal. The way I know it is the <laughs> misguidance. Yeah. But that, this is what, so if if fitna is not the lie, what your prophet he says? So listen, Jibreel he said to him just to show you how silly the Muslim. They don't even know Arabic. We are the Arabic Christian. We are the best in Arabic in the world. We are the master of Arabic. We are the one who made Allah. So listen carefully. Inna ummataka muftatana. I agree with that. I I I don't It does not mean misguided. And now your prophet he confirmed. Bi kitabi Allah yadulun. So now focus with me. Why the Muslim will be misguided by the book of Allah? Is the book of Allah book of shaitan or the book of God? The book of Allah. When you say Quran is the book of Allah, obviously. If you're a prophet, if you're a prophet, you confirm that the Muslim will be misguided by the book of Allah. Then the book of Allah is the book of shaitan. Because the purpose of Allah book supposedly is to guide the people, not to misguide. He said, I said, where does this come from when I leave behind them the book of God Almighty? He said, they go astray by the book of God, and the beginning of that was by their relatives and their princes. So all the caliphate of the Muslim too, he said right away, starting from who? Their leaders. So the caliphate of Muhammad, all of them, they were misguided by the book of Allah. So, okay, you said that Hadith says that. Okay, uh -huh. send me the reference. I'll do more you, that than that. You have, you have yeah, YouTube, it, and you are using the internet of the neighbors. You are a Muslim. You steal the internet as always. So use it, search it, and show me, you. Uh, Christian Prince. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a Muslim scholar, so just send it to me. I will do my research, man. There's, Can you send me the link? Yeah, yeah, I will send you the link. There is a there is a Muslim scholar. If there is one Muslim scholar is it was exist ever. Okay. If there is one Muslim scholar was exist ever in history of Islam. You're asking if there is a Muslim Muslim scholar who there's ever one, existed one. in yes. Islam? Can you name for me one Muslim scholar exist from the time of Muhammad until now? There's one? Can you name one? Uh, there is Imam Malik. Um, yeah, that's false because, because your prophet he says my nation will be misguided by the book of Allah so the scholars are misguided already if the caliphate are misguided I mean look how silly you know, because the, listen, listen, the, listen, the, listen. The, the narration the what narration you? that you are saying uh -huh. goes uh, in contrary with another narrations 
For instance, there is another narration that uh, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, stated that <coughs> the, the, the best generations are the ones that, you know, you know he was talking about the tabi, uh, tabi'een or tabi'u tabi'een. How can he call them the so best the when, best, when the they best, are misguided? Okay. Is the best generation, is, uh, is Umar is the best of generation? Umar? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, after his death, then there is Tabi, the, the Sahabi. Okay, I'm asking but, about Omar. Focus with Omar. Was Omar a good guy? Yeah, he was a companion. Was Omar? He was, yeah. Okay. So, was Omar, according to your prophet, he said, if there's a prophet will come after me, that would be Omar? Uh, that's the first time I had that. Everything. I mean, I mean Muslims, uh, you know, anything I say to them, that's the first time I hear, you know. Okay. So, you seem to know more uh, more about Islam than most Muslims. I know, many Muslims. I know, I know, for sure I know. Uh, you, you are not telling me news, guys, he's telling me news. I'm surprised now. <laughs> so listen, I'm asking you, did your prophet listen? That's a fact. Look, uh, that's a fact, okay. So now, if there is a prophet after me, uh, it would be Omar. Yeah. So when Muhammad, he said, when he says such a thing, does that mean Omar is the best of the best of all Muslims after him? Actually, no. Maybe because of a certain character, but I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time I had it. What do you mean? If he did, not say, he did not say, he did not say, if there is a messenger will come after me, is going to be Abu Bakr. He said Omar. He chose Omar only. Because Omar was, you know, tough. So if According are, to some so narrations, if are, so if you are tough, you are fit to be even sudden failure. Huh? What? I don't... <laughs> what, uh, being, nah. what being tough would be in what being tough would be in you know I am the most tough person you can imagine. I have two cousins. I will I will, I will teach you what tough is. Two cousins and on, honest to God, this is a true story. They went hunting mm -hmm. and then they decide to play games. They shoot at each other. The first one he shot his cousin. Mm -hmm. He shot him in his side, in his belly. Mm -hmm. The other guy, he mm -hmm. starts shooting. They keep shooting at each just to gain for fun. Just for fun. And they were bleeding. They came, both of them, they are dying. So don't tell me about that. Mm -hmm. is, does that mean they are really fit to be prophet? Because the way you're prophet? talking, so the way you're talking, man, it's, it's like Omar's character was only being tough, man. He had a lot more qualities than that. So what, this have, so, what this have to do with the qualification to be a prophet of Allah? Your prophet was tough too. Okay, the, actually, yeah, but the, what, the the prophet himself explain why he said that? Because Omar is the one who made the Quran. Not only so that. Is, not only that. Let me ask you: If a person he saw, I'm not, I'm not insulting your wife. Don't take me wrong. If somebody come into you, visit you, and he saw your wife, I'm not insulting your wife, remember, I'm just telling you an example. Yeah, she doesn't exist yet, but yeah, no continue. Problem. Let us say in the dark, in the old days, there's no bathroom. The women, they go in the dark to do poo, poo which is normal, you know, no, not a big deal. So Omar, mm -hmm. he saw the wife of Muhammad out mm -hmm. doing poo, poo What he said to her, Arifnaki ya sauda. We recognize your ass, Sauda. What kind of guy he is qualified to be a prophet after Muhammad? If he go mm -hmm. after the wife of Muhammad at night, you see, if Muhammad have a little, so, little, little respect to your prophet, he will not, he will make himself he saw no women. Correct, guys. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to Muhammad's house. I saw his wife outside doing poo poo. Should I open my mouth and say to her, Hey, Sauda, I see you doing poo poo. Or I say, I say, I turn my face. There huh? is a narration that says that. Huh? You want to tell me that? Is I, that a, I, is I, there I, a narration? No, I cannot find it. Oh, says I saw it in YouTube. <laughs> you said send me the link, man. What send you the link? I, I I cannot find it. This is very hard for me, as you know. I do not know much about Islam. I I do not know much about Islam, but you seem I, to know I do not much, know man. too. I do not know too. I saw it in cartoon. Arafnaki ya Sauda. Here we go. It's in front of you. And this is Sahih. The wife, she was going out to do poo poo. This is Sahih al Bukhari. 
This is the best of mankind. You say that the Sahaba of the Prophet, they are the best. And so then, okay. and then the say one night Sauda bin Zaiba uh, went out of Ishata, I she was a tall lady. Wait, where is the poo thing? My friend, she went out to do poo to do poo where does it say poo This is what it says, that the women, they don't go out at night. Do the Muslim and the wife, they will go to walk in the, in the Bikini Beach. They go at night only for poo -poo. So, okay, uh, show the translation. So when she went at a short time, when she was a tall lady, Omar addressed her and said, I have recognized you also there. He said, as he said earlier, that the verses of uh, Al Hijab may be revealed to Allah. So, so is this is about your your man, prophet? Is, it, is, is this is about your prophet? So just, she was just Omar saying, I have, she, was so just Omar saying, I have recognized you, man. Then, so did he see her ass or you, not? You, 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 did he see her you ass? Are did, he, did he see what, her what ass? Where's the ass, man? Where's the ass? He, okay, he so let me ask you. Let, me, let, 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 let us make it simple. Was she doing shit? Yes or no? Where, where does it say she was doing shit, man? You want to bet? I don't know. Show me, man. <laughs> it's in front of you. It says to answer the call of nature at night. Okay. When the wife of Muhammad answering the call of nature, which is the oh, call of Allah, the did he see her ass? Did. did he see her yeah. ass? Yes or no? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. One night, Saudi bin Zama, the wife of the Prophet, went out at a short time and she was a tall lady. Like Abdul, she was answering the call of nature. What she was doing? She was Man, doing poo, -poo. She, How do you know that? Omar saw her while she was doing poo, poo Maybe he, with the, the, the why, time she went why out, they she mention, saw her. Why they mention that she was doing poo, poo if she is not doing poo, poo And the way you're talking is like Omar saw her in the act, man. Yes. This is why, <laughs> this is why they mentioned that oh. she was out to do poo, poo Do you think they walked 3,000 miles to walk poo, poo They go just a few meters away from the house and do poo, -poo right away. Oh, maybe she was away. on her way to do that. Maybe she was on her way to do that and Omar saw her no, and she no, no. All, 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 the reference, all the reference, here we go. Even the, what is the title name? What is going out of when answering the call of nature. <laughs> Even the chapter, chapter, guys, look at the but chapter. The issue. This is Muslim books. The chapter of the Muslim book, Allahu Akbar, going out of women for the entering the call of nature. And what, what Omar he do? He go to the women, he says, we recognize you, Sauda, what a beautiful ass. And look, and then he told Muhammad to command his wife to wear hijab. Are you saying to me that Muhammad wives, they used to go out in the street uncovered? So here he says, I have recognized you, but remember, it, why does the hadith say that she was a tall lady? Because she was tall. Maybe Omar recognized her because of her height. Of her, height. Yeah, her body is big, her body is big. So she is different from the other well, wives. Well, so why do you is, insist that she's so her butt? My friend, even if she is sitting, she have a different body. She is big. She is, she is fat too. According to the hadith, so that she was almost like 10,000 10, kilograms. Your prophet cannot even have sex with her. He could not even lift her legs up. He called his friends to put her hands up, legs up so he can have sex. This is why your prophet decided to... Oh, listen, this through. happened before and Allah revealed the verse of it, Al-Hijab. Let it through. What? What? Christian Prince, uh -huh. why, why, why are you speaking like that, man? You speak a lot and you don't, you don't give me a chance to speak well. All this time, the time, speaking, all this time you are talking, I'm not letting you talk. Okay, yeah, continue, man. So listen, you, uh, let's so you mentioned the hijab. Who is the one who made the chapter of the hijab? Allah, Prophet, or Omar? Or Allah? Allah revealed the verses of al-hijab. To who? After... He revealed it to the Prophet Muhammad. False. He revealed it to Omar. <laughs> so wait. What you're saying is Allah revealed 
Quranic verses to Omar? In fact, is that what Allah, you're saying? Hold on, I mean, let me make correction. In fact, Allah, He took the Quran from Omar. Come again? Come again. Allah, in fact, I will explain it. Okay. No, okay. In fact, Allah, He took His Quran from Omar. This is why Omar Muhammad he says, if there's a messenger will be after me, a prophet, it's going to be Omar because Omar was making Quran. Where, where, did, where did he state that Omar made Quran, man? You know that Quran was revealed according to situations that happened around the Prophet, maybe, or around his community, right? Do you want to bet? You yeah, bet, man. You will lose. You want to bet? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. No, okay. So now you know, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to make some gain. If I prove it to you, what you will do? Uh. Now you're gonna put stakes, man, right? Uh huh. Like, do you do like monkey dance for us? Okay, I'll pull another card. You know that betting is haram in Islam, right? Okay, you wanna bet that betting is not haram in Islam? <laughs> what? Uh, I, in the Quran. I mean, your Quran is the most yeah. stupid book in the Quran. It says you can. Yeah, bet. yeah, yeah. But that's not, that's not a change topic. Hold on, let's finish this one. Here we go. This is your prophet, and this is the story. Allah, he copy the Quran mm -hmm. from Omar. Mm -hmm. From Omar. Allah copy Quran from Omar. Yes. Let me show you. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh huh. Your God did not make Quran. This is Omar making Quran. Here we go. You said on. Allah took Quran from Omar. Like Omar oh, had oh, the Quran oh, yeah, 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 from yeah, him. But yeah. now you're saying copy. Yeah, okay, show me the. <laughs> All right, uh, let us see. Uh, all right, let us see. Let us show you this hadith here. This is why Omar is your God, and Muhammad is a thief. He was stealing Quran from Omar. Omar is the one who made the chapter of the hijab, not Muhammad. <laughs> Look, yeah, there's tons of hadith. Some of them they say even there's ton chapters came from from Omar. Read carefully, like this one as an example here. It says, "What has been said okay. about facing the Qibla and Mecca? Whatever considered that there was no need to repeat Salat prayer. Let us go down. Omar, mm -hmm. he said, who talking? Omar. My Lord, My Lord agreed I with me in three things." <laughs> who mm -hmm. agreed, agreed with who? Who okay. agreed with who? Who agreed with who? Tell me. My Lord agreed with me in three things. So mm -hmm. what you're saying is Allah agreed with Omar. Exactly. So who is the one who made the verses about praying into the Kaaba? Omar. Who is the one? Sorry. Hold on. Who is the one who spoke about the Tawaf? Omar. Who is the one who says make veil for the women? Omar. How the Quran came? The Quran says exactly as I said, Omar. Read carefully. So this verse, the same as had I, I had said was revealed. Do you see it, guys? Does it say the verses they came the same as same exactly I had said? <laughs> So this was the same as had I had said uh -huh. was revealed. So who is the one? Mm -hmm. is, who is Allah? So Muhammad, he took what Omar said. He make it Quran. Omar said to him, we saw the ass of your wife. Each time he go to his house, he see the ass of one of his wives. And he keeps saying to him, man, cover your wives, man. Your ass is so big. I like it. You know, and so I'm getting horny when I look at them. Please cover them. Filthy. You don't respect Muhammad because if he is not filthy, he should not look. So now he claimed that he is not really doing it. So he asked him to order his wife to cover. And then Muhammad, he took exactly what Umar al-Khattab, he said, and he made it Quran. And now yes, we have the proof yeah. in the front of you. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You cannot say it's fake. Okay. So what? Okay. Uh, so now who is 
Who is the Prophet? Allah or, or uh, Allah Prophet Muhammad or Allah Prophet Umar? Okay, how should I put this? Christian Prince. Uh -huh. uh, you know the Quran was revealed according to different, you know, occurrences. My friend, who cares about different occurrences? This is as I said. You Muslim, you say the Quran says, if all mankind and jinn they came together, they cannot make Quran like it. So now it turned so now, to be that your God is copying Omar in everything, the Hajj, the pray to the Mecca, the hijab, all those things. More than you know, there's there's some 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 report about 20, 30 things. Allah He copy Omar. So Omar is the one who made the Quran. He said 30, but here first it says three things. Yeah, there's many. There's other reference. Here it says the three. Those are the most important. The most important, Omar is mentioning, the major things in Islam, it's you pray to the direction of the Kaaba, uh -huh. right? So those are the three major things. All they are coming from Omar. So women, why they are, why Muslim they are doing tawaf? Because of Omar. Why the Muslims are praying to Kaaba? Because of Omar. Why the Muslim women, they are wearing hijab? Because of Omar. In fact, actually, in fact, hold on. In fact, in the whole Quran, not a single verse says the Muslim women, they should wear hijab. Nowhere. Really? Yeah, because what Omar Hiz was talking about is to cover their body. They are exposing their skin, not their hair. It was dark. It's dark. Those women, they have dark hair. You can see the hair. So they were exposing their body. And then Muhammad, he took what Omar said because Omar was asking him to cover their body, not their hair. So, it was dark. Can you see a woman in the dark outside? She have a dark hair. Can you see her hair? No. So how about in the afternoon? Huh? In the afternoon, the hair can be seen. It's not dark. What, so, after, what afternoon? It says here at night. Are you blind? <laughs> It says at night she go out for the, the the call of nature. I mean, what's wrong with Muslims? Are we like a bunch of kids? Okay. Like, do, you know, know, do you know? Do you know the verse that speaks about uh, Jilbab? Forget about Jilbab now, Mister Jilbab. Listen, she was out for the call of nature at night. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. So at night you cannot see their hair. Do we agree? Okay. Okay, so what is the hijab? The hijab is a curtain between you and the person. It's not to cover the head, it's to cover the body. A hair? Hijab, is hijab is something on the head or something between you and the person? Yeah, a covering. No, I'm asking you, I want an answer. Well, I, I can give you an, a straight answer, man. I'm not sure. You are not sure. So what your what your sister she wear? My sister is Nefa or Jilbab, whatever it's called. So what do she do she cover her hair? All have all the except eyes and. Uh, but I don't know. But where in the Quran it says uh, those Muslim women they should cover their hair? Nowhere. Hijab, hijab is not a scarf. Muslims are ignorant. Muslim women, they go to go outside and open their legs and everybody can see their vagina. So now, protect your vagina. Don't let everybody see it. Muslim women, they go to, in the street and their boobs is coming out. So now, use the hijab to cover your chest. The hijab is not a scarf in uh, the head. Yes. It's not a scarf in the head. You see how many times the word hijab appear? Always it I, is a I'm curtain. not talking about hijab. I'm not talking about hijab, man. I'm talking I know, about I jilbab. Know. Talking about jilbab, it's the same. So the, the women, they sh used to show their more skin. So the Muhammad now is saying, don't show those skin like your boobs. Don't let them cut out. Put a scarf inside your chest. The chest is open. Put something there to cover it when you are working. Women, their boobs come out. So how do you cover your boobs again, man? You put a piece of uh, clothing. Okay, can you show the translation? 
Same time, the verse you gave to me, this is only about the prophet. Not for the Muslims. Muhammad, he don't like Muslims to cover themselves because he like to look at their asses. Wait, what? It's, it talks about his wives, his daughters, and the women of the believers. No. That's all. No, 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 no. Here we go. Listen carefully. Here it says that the, the wives and the believers, all of them, they have to make their, their clothing long. We are talking about the, uh, how you talk to the women. Only the prophet's wives, you speak to them from behind a hijab. Yeah, yeah, behind the curtain. So this is here only for the longer clothing. We are not talking about that. We are talking about the hijab. So the hijab never been commanded for Muslim women as a scarf. Hijab is something you put between you and the person.